it's there's really nothing. It's just it's it's really bad. And then Gordo just doesn't do anything in this yeah. matchup since all of Sonic's attack pretty much just beat. Yeah, it I feel out. like it just comes out like every anything that D D D has is just like too slow for Sonic. Yeah. <laughs> It's pretty much GD has to really capitalize. Oh, oh my gosh. That okay. was a very scary that little That was ballsy. Moment. But, uh, uh oh. Oh. <laughs> oh my go. god, you terrified me there, yeah. Magic Trash Bag. So, All right. pretty much, I think M Dog has to capitalize on every single opportunity he gets to punish or hit him. Yeah, and he's, he's doing, he's he's doing well right now. But hopefully, no commentators, Chris comes yeah, in. Yeah, he's got, he's got a bit of the momentum. Yeah. And this is where th this matchup becomes a little bit interesting since Sonic's lost a lot of his kill power in his throws and such, which is the easiest way to get him. Now he has to figure out a land like an F smash or something. He's DDD's extremely yeah. heavy and he's not gonna die. He has easily to at he all. has to kill him with a hard read, which is gonna be hard because if Ooh. Oh wow, calls up that roll onto the stage with a straight down it, smash. You gotta be honest, yeah. man. You gotta be honest and get up the stage sometimes. Yeah. And that was risky works. because I mean D I think that's DDD's best yeah. uh, smash attack is his down smash. So Captain Andrew just kind of gave him all the time in the world, and back throw Ooh, is yeah. going to do it. Yeah, off the platform near the yeah. blast zone. Okay, so evens it back up. Pretty much Captain Andrew has to realize that he could just he, – he, he can control the pace of this game. Yeah. He I would have liked to have seen a re-grab there since he, ha he caught head as a opponent in shield. He decided to do an up tilt. Or uh, uh, ooh. Oh, wow. unfortunate. Extremely unfortunate. Turned him around and didn't he manage to. Uh, he could have still made it back if he canceled it at the moment he reached the top height. Yeah. Of he would have just slipped right but back he, in. He canceled it, but he canceled a little bit too, too late to yeah. where he was a little too far away. He from was already the ledge. too far to the right. Yeah. The momentum change and it's fine though. He like also, if he had recognized it, that the spring, like uh, when he got hit by the spring, that he turned around, he could have also like reversed the up B. But that's a little bit tricky. I mean, it's not super tricky. But can you tell him I'm commentating. Can you tell him I'm commentating. Okay, so game two on FD, which is going to be. I don't know. I want to say this is a better a better stage for Sonic. It's so it's one of Bene Sonic's best stages. It is, but like you gotta remember, I think DD, he, his thought process is he just wants a little bit more space to move around. I mean, yeah. Look, oh, that was that was actually a exactly. really greedy Ooh, down here. Wow. Oh. Okay. So, gets up on from the ledge and just down tilts. Captain Andrew doesn't see that coming. Yeah. Now, now we see Captain Andrew kind of already okay. adapted to 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 this matchup. He's probably learning this matchup on the fly. If yeah. anything. He's a lot like a, a lot of DD isn't a very common character to play against in this game, as you would think. No, yeah, he now he's doing his more bread and butter Sonic combos, yeah. but whereas before he was he was playing very uh very, very scared. safe, very yeah. scared, yeah. He but he's he's doing it Not now. Not even safe, just scared, yeah. Better word. Now he's he's doing it. He's getting his grabs. But now the throws. Oh, 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 oh and the Gordo the Gordo saves saves him. Him. Gordo, that was a trade he did not want with the Gordo. Ooh. Ooh, that was a really greedy down air. That was Yeah, the Gordo is messing up day to day oh, right nice. now. Yeah, that right. that Gordo cost him that early stock. Oh. oh, they're both still on their first stock. Oh my oh. gosh. And Captain Andrew tries to get this this uh the, the dare spike off stage. I don't know if he did that intentionally. I don't think he did. I think he did. He was trying to do it on stage earlier yeah. already. He already went for it once and probably thought, "Yeah, hey, I'm gonna try it again." Yeah. And this time he paid well, with a stock. Oh, oh yeah. And this is bad. Day to day is at max rage now. Yeah, DDD is gonna hit hard. DDD just has to uh, grab like him maybe twice, and maybe he'll be in death range by then already. Maybe not even. The thing is, what? So what? What is Sonic gonna do right now besides? Uh, he could F smash him, back air him, for back the kill. Throw, the fourth he, throw, he's going to need to read DDD oh. for a kill, but see, now he's letting DDD uh, pick up he this momentum. He has this, to is what mo that, that, this is what DDD has to do. He just has to play lame, and he can uh, jump around. Okay, oh, nice but back throw, throw takes the stock. That Pretty much, DDD has to, ke has to keep stage control and, and, start and control the pace of the game. If Sonic is able to control it, that's it. He's not going to be able to come back and... It's really yeah. hard for him. And right now, but well the problem being is now Captain Andrew kind of has to approach. Ooh, okay. Goes and for a little bit of a... Just like that. Fancy your so Sonic setup. Yep. Okay. Chooses to roll back instead of uh, a follow-up there. Nice. Nice. He's trying to go for that yeah. same setup again. Captain Andrew is definitely playing a little bit scared despite 
having such a, a great start to the game. PC, he's now in death range. That's yeah. oh, there it is, dash that attack. Almost Not going to take it, but showing him how strong DDD can really be. Yeah, and Captain Andrews is really, he's, he's just falling for this little trap that Oh, Didi F smash doesn't even break shield. No, he, he's falling for this little trap that DDD is setting with the Gordo yeah. and the and the edge guarding when in reality you could just jump off and just hit the Gordo, throw out a fair and beat it out. Yeah. And just and just oh, wait for the there Gordo. There it is. And he's, now we're he's going trying to go in. Three. Yeah. Uh, I don't uh, know. I what cost Captain Andrew there was a uh, well, strategy yeah. right here. And you have a match. What really uh, cost Captain Andrew there the match there was he just lost his patience, didn't manage to can I have the rest of this? Yeah. Didn't manage to maintain his tempo throughout the match. And okay. And just let DDD do DDD things. Uh, you know what I saw at the end there? Yep. I saw Captain Andrew actually slow down a lot and just let MDoc press a lot of buttons that without really letting uh, contesting anything really. That's what I mean is he started playing scared because he started the match off really well and then started playing scared. And let DDD do things that DDD should never do to you. Yeah. Yeah, see, the thing about DDD, uh, I still feel a lot of people uh, don't know, really know that much about the character. Oh, no. So when they <laughs> see him, they just tend to, you know, play you a little bit more patiently just so they can see exactly what he's trying to do. Yeah. But the thing about DDD is he's a really big character. Like, you can, you can well on him like he's doing right now, but he'll, like, he'll live a really long time, and he really benefits off of Rage, Off of Rage, yeah. So if you're not, you know, actively on point the entire game, it just takes one slip up and then you'll die a ridiculously early person. But uh, I like how, you know, Captain Andrew's playing right now. He's playing how I think Sonic should always play in, in most matchups, which is like the hit yeah. and run strategy. But especially versus the heavy, you don't have to really force the kills because you have better mobility, uh, somewhat better hitboxes. You don't have to worry about Gordo too much. Ooh. Almost killing with the back air. There should be an edge guard here. Ooh. Almost. But yeah, uh, he has a good lead. And it's a great stage for him to actually, uh, you know, play it patiently. He has all yeah. a lot of platforms, a lot of room to run around. So but he can just, you know, play it smart. Oh really just gosh. take advantage of this huge percent lead. But, wow, Didi. Right. Heavy hitter, man. He's, uh, this is, it's like you said, I mean, Didi is hard to kill. And this is where Captain Ag Andrew is struggling in the matchup is yeah. securing the kill. Good oh, pivot okay. grab, though. Pivot grab to back throw. Really we'll taking advantage stock, yeah. of Sonic's movement there. Just dashing around right where DD's going to land. Get the quick grab. 51%. Uh, now that DD doesn't have so much rage, yeah. he doesn't have to worry about dying in, like, 20%. It's like a dash attack or something silly. So yeah. he can rack up a lot of percent Just, you know, like I said, play the hit and run strategy. Optimal Sonic play. Ooh! Wow. Goes yeah, so no deep for that, but DDD can make it yeah, back. Yeah, DDD's recovery is amazing, yeah. but I do appreciate the attempts. That was a lot of damage, and any other character definitely would have yeah. been uh, <laughs> you would have been done. And uh, Captain Andrew still holding on to his first stock here, yeah. only 20% uh, below 100. Ooh, oh, okay. almost Good got air reversal dodge. there at yeah. the up air. Okay, great up tilt. Trying to get a like, spring gimp here, but still maintains the stage control. No punish from M-Dog. Just letting him charge smash in his face. Yeah. Yeah, Captain Andrew, he's really running away with this now. No no pun intended. Ooh. <laughs> okay. Pun is always there, man. <laughs> Whether you intend it or not. Up throw. Wait for your okay. air dodge. Okay. Nothing. Still safe. Yeah. I mean, forced him to use all of his jumps. Ooh, but okay. Oh, okay. All right. So this is this is where he's going to have to... He's going to have to secure this stock. Yeah. And, and that, that's the part that he's been struggling with. Now he has no rage. And DD is in <laughs> almost, almost max, max rage. Yeah. And like prime percentage to just get a, a crazy early stock if Captain Andrew over So if, Ca if, if M Dog really wants to take this and uh, mess with Captain Andrew, he could just play the lame game for the rest of the uh, for the rest of the time. Throw Gordos. Eventually, those Gordos are gonna rack up the percent. Yeah. So if I'm Captain Andrew, Ooh, yeah, okay, good very smart, very yeah. smart. Rolls back into F Smash, knowing that he was going to land onto the stage with the uh, DD up B. E. All right. Good stuff from Captain Andrew. Really just playing it safe at the end there. He, uh, a lot of players, when they're in a situation like that, where they have a huge lead, but they can't you know, easily get the kill. They just try to fish, throw, yeah. out, throw a lot of kill moves. 
But the thing is, when you're playing a character like DDD, who can just punish super hard, you don't want to just risk it like that.